Hey everybody, welcome to Cross City HNC. My name is Laura and I'm so glad you're here today. Today, I want to uh, show you how to make a no dig garden in your yard. The reason I wanna do this video is because I hear from a lot of people that they want to have a garden in their yard, but they either don't have enough money to build raised beds or they um, don't have a tiller to dig into the ground and they just don't wanna like dig with a shovel, which I don't blame them because that is really hard work. Um, or maybe they live on like a rented, uh, or they live in a rented home so their landlord uh, won't allow them to establish like a raised bed garden or uh, a tilled garden. Uh, so I want to show another option, which is a no dig garden. And it's pretty simple, it's easy, and it's super cheap to do. Um, I have a couple of no dig gardens around my yard um, in the form of pallets, super easy. A lot of businesses will give you the pallets just to get them off their property, just wooden pallets. Um, so that is definitely an option. Another option is as simple as putting down some cardboard onto the ground and then putting a few inches of dirt on top of that cardboard and boom, you have a garden. It's literally as simple as that and it does not take much money. Um, and you can make it as big or small as you want. Now, my disclaimer for this is um, if you do live on a rented property, make sure you okay it with the landlord before you do this. Um, don't go saying, well, Laura said, no, <laughs> don't, don't do that. Um, but okay it with them and maybe explain to them, hey, you know, this, you know, if whenever I move out, you know, this can move with me, we can rake the dirt down um, or, you know, wherever you live, dispose of the dirt and the cardboard, which by that time the cardboard will break down anyway. So, um, you know, it's, um, disappears rather quickly, I guess you could say. So I hope you'll stick around, watch this video. I hope you get something out of this video. And if you decide to put in a no dig garden at your house, let me know. I'd love to see it. show you my pallet gardens. Um, you've seen these in several videos, but I just want to talk to you about how I made them. First, you'll see on these two right here that I have cardboard right there. I have cardboard underneath my pallets. And the reason that I put the cardboard there is because it acts as a bit of a weed barrier. You can buy weed paper or um, like landscape fabric and stuff to put down to serve as a weed barrier, uh, but why not use something like cardboard, uh, readily available, cheap, and uh, you know, you just pull off the labels, pull off the tape, break down the cardboard and lay it down. And you want to put like two layers of it and kind of overlap it a little bit, which I'll show you that in a minute, um, just to keep any weeds from creeping through. But the reason I recommend laying some sort of landscape paper, fabric, whatever you want to call it, or cardboard down underneath your pallets or any type of no dig system is to prevent those weeds from growing up through. So you're not breaking up the soil, so you're not breaking up the weeds and stuff underneath it. You want the cardboard or the fabric there to uh, smother out those weeds and over time that cardboard will break down and um, underneath your garden. So um, you want it there simply just to smother out those weeds so you're not constantly having weeds growing through your, your, uh, your garden and uh, stealing the nutrients and stuff that's in that compost and that dirt trying to feed your plants. But for these two pallet gardens here and a few more that I have scattered about the yard, I, all I did was I laid down the cardboard and then I put the pallets down on top of the cardboard and then I just filled in with um, the dirt and the compost that I was using. And I wet it down really good, pushed it down to kind of pack it a little bit so it wouldn't come out the sides so much, which this right here, this is not wash out. This is where I spilled dirt and it started raining while I was doing this. So I just kind of raked it over 
and left it there but um you just want to wet down the dirt real good and kind of push on it so it doesn't spill out the front and then um you can plant your seeds in it give it another good water and just keep them watered uh, when you do use something like a pallet to uh, plant your garden um, you're gonna want to make sure that you water it daily because that soil because it is raised up out of the ground um, it's kind of like when you put stuff in pots uh, that soil will dry out just a little bit faster so you want to make sure that you are watering um, those pallets daily to keep those plants uh, hydrated but yeah that's how simple it is to do a, a no dig garden with pallets all right so here are the three things that you need to do a no dig garden at your house you need some cardboard boxes you need some soil some compost and you need a spot to put a no dig garden so i'm going to put ours right here next to our backyard garden right next to some of my pallet gardens so the first thing you want to do when um once you have all your supplies for your no dig garden is you want to break down your cardboard boxes so you want to take off all of the tape that's there you want to take off labels anything that would be like plastic you want to take it off this one i want to come off down here is already broken down um, some other stuff I get a lot of my cardboard boxes either from everything that <laughs> I wear on Amazon or um, stuff that my husband orders also like pizza boxes um, as long as they're not like the shiny I hope that makes sense you know how some plastic boxes have like a really shiny coating on the outside of it um, I probably want not use something like that but um, just your regular standard cardboard box is fine to use. All right, so then the next thing you want to do is to um, make sure the area that you are doing your uh, no dig garden is uh, somewhat level. That way it won't slow and the water won't wash off. I forgot the label on this box. You just start once you have somewhat of a level area then you just start laying out your boxes so I flip up the back as you saw of my cardboard flip it up like this when I have it up against a structure uh, that way any weeds that may grow over from the other side will be somewhat blocked and that box will break down over time so it won't be poking up it won't be so much of an eyesore so you just keep um, put about two layers of cardboard down and kind of overlap it that way any of the cracks from where there may be openings at like this is covered up with another piece of cardboard that way we won't grow through there. All right, so there are my multiple layers of cardboard. And next, I'm gonna dump 
my soil onto it and mix in my compost with it and wet it down really well and it'll be ready for planting. So there you have it, simple as that. I put down about four inches or so of a combination of dirt and compost and uh, watered it down really well. Uh, depending upon what I decide to plant here, I may add a little bit of extra dirt just to make sure there's plenty of room for roots. But I feel like I'm gonna utilize this to plant some radish or something uh, rather quick growing, maybe some lettuce. Um, I will make sure that I water it every single day that way it doesn't get dried out and uh, yeah I'm excited to plant in it I love anytime I get a new area to plant um, if you are considered or concerned about how maybe the uh, bed the no dig no no dig bed works or looks um, you're concerned about you know the dirt washing out of it you might have a little bit of wash out in a system like this but as long as you've watered it really good and kind of go through and pat it down a little bit you don't want to be compact but just you know give it a little firm press um, but if you're concerned about some of that dirt washing out or maybe you just don't like the rough edges of it you can always come around with some sort of border it can be from stuff that's reclaimed like scraps of wood um, or pieces of rock pieces of broken brick broken cinder blocks whatever or you know solid you know landscape and timbers brick solid brick solid cinder blocks whatever um, but you can come around the edges and lay those down just to give it a more uniform look and to help hold some of that dirt in in the event of like a really heavy downpour but even if you leave the bed just like this it'll work perfectly fine you'll be able to grow uh, food and this right here for the cardboard which was free and the dirt this was maybe like the dirt and the compost like maybe 10 bucks and i have an instant garden in my backyard so give this a try let me know how it works for you so the no dig garden bed is definitely an option for someone who may have limited funds and can't invest in like a really good raised bed or um, don't have the option of tilling or maybe uh, they just have a very very small area of yard to work with and they want a quick and easy way to get a garden up and going um, this no dig system is cost efficient and um, it's super quick and easy to do um, my kids could do that I mean it's it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, so I recommend giving it a try if you would like to have a garden in your yard or garden where you're at. Um, there's still time. This video is being filmed the next to the last weekend of September. Or no, this is the last full weekend of September, I guess you could say, of uh, 2020. So where I live in zone AA in Eastern North Carolina, I can take that garden bed right there and I can plant lettuce, spinach, kale, radish, things like that. And um, they're cool weather crops. So even though it's 80 degrees today and it's gonna be 80 degrees for like the next three days, um, we've got a storm system coming through in three or four days, I think. And the temperatures are gonna drop down to where the highs for the day are gonna be in the um, mid 60s and the overnight lows are gonna be in the 50s. So. Uh, cool weather crops definitely something you want to plant right now and quick growing because we are quickly approaching approaching um, our average frost which is October 31st for at least our area where, where I live at but you can definitely get some lettuce some kale some spinach and radish established in a no dig system like that you could do it this weekend and you'd be perfectly fine and you'd be able to um, reap the benefits of that no dig garden before it gets too cold for stuff to grow around here so definitely give it definitely give it a try alrighty i'm gonna hop off here and uh go dig through my seeds and decide exactly what i want to plant in our new no dig garden 
thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Once again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a blessed day and please come back to see me soon.